Helios is down to 60, 100. This does not look good for Helios. It's still very early in the game, but I like Buttered Toast has put himself in a really good position. So he's going to put the Disciple, the Chef, and the Ghost of the Ancestors out in Assault. He also has a second Chef that he's placed into Support. No, that's fine. You can have that. You can have that. That's more cheese for me. It's perfectly acceptable. What you doing, Rib? Hi. So two infested abominations. I like buttered toast. Uh, is obviously going to be running quite a few exiles, uh, single purity exiles cards in this. So spontaneous combustion, wholesale slaughter, and splat. And there we go. Mark of the demon gets rid of chef. What you doing? Went out. Come on. Come in. Can't make up her mind. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Wholesale is banned. I made the ban list and I'm sitting here thinking about that. Kappa. <laughs> that's okay, Murdak. I still love you. So, Helios is making great use of Vanash and Chef here. Uh, one chef down, Mark the Demon would not be able to take out a second chef. This one's at 5-5. Five, five. So once uh, I Like Buttered Toast starts taking out some characters, he also will be able to use G. Twelve to I like buttered toast, and Helios will absorb a little bit of damage here. He will also take out both infested abominations, which means Helios is going to start taking uh, end of turn damage from now on. He's already at 38, and I like buttered toast is still fairly healthy with 73. Uh, Helios went down to to 38 very very quickly. So as a, a, at least right now in the current board state, this looks like a fairly even match. Uh, simply due to the amount of health that Helios has lost. Um, let's see if I Like Butter Toast is going to be able to scale any further. It doesn't look like he has much else to scale with. Uh, he's going to continue using things like T-Bot and Spontaneous Combustion. Um, perhaps Splat? I, I don't know what he's going to be doing here exactly but he does have initiative so this is a good turn for him to be doing it so demonize goes out on zun shen winds of war comes out uh and takes out a couple of characters um and Xi and ghost of the ancestors are still out which means Xi is still going to be able to uh continue doing her thing at each and every turn so infected monk comes out for helios he's got one card left in his hand while I Like Buttered Toast still has six. So in terms of board presence, Helios is looking good. Uh, I Like Buttered Toast, however, likely has quite a bit of control left in his hand. Uh, and Helios' chef only has one point of health left, so anything that deals any kind of AoE damage will take out that chef. Uh, not sure if I Like Buttered Toast has any left, but uh, you can see G's ability being chosen there. So Helios is going to be... Uh, popping out those Spirits of the Ancestors once a turn. There's two Spirit of the Ancient Guardians. Uh, should be able to take out G. Nope, bad positioning. So, let's see. One for one. Yeah, it is going to take out G. It is going to take out G. So, there goes Helios's token generation. Why does the Abomination text still say damage to every opponent at the end of every turn? I thought for so long would deal damage to every card. No, it doesn't say that. I mean, I understand your confusion, but that's not what it says. It says to the opponent. Not each card your opponent controls. 
So losing G there to Spirit of the Ancient Guardians was a little bit of uh, a little bit unfortunate for Helios, uh, but Helios still has plenty of board presence. Uh, only losing two health each turn to Invested Abomination. Uh, Infested Hero comes out. That's not going to take anything with it, but it will defend against two, and then I Like Buttered Toast will take 13 to the face. Helios top decks a Mad Monk, gets a Disciple back from his graveyard. Uh, Vanash putting in quite a bit of work here for him. Not entirely sure I Like Buttered Toast is going to be able to come back from this. Uh, Helios is very low, but I like Buttered Toast uh, has lost his board presence, and I'm not sure he has anything in his deck that's going to be able to clear out uh, this field entirely while being able to follow up for the last 26. So let's see if either side is going to be able to do anything here. Uh, T-Bot comes out, doesn't hit anything. Uh, as I Like Buttered Toast has not played any characters. Fear comes out from his hand, postponing that turn. So it's good that T-Bot did not uh, hit anything for I Like Buttered Toast. All he did uh, was play Fear and use the Trading Post. And sometimes that's uh, a really solid move. But here's the question for him. Uh, Helios played Spontaneous Combustion, and he has quite a bit of board presence right now that can easily one-shot I Like Buttered Toast this turn. Let's see if I Like Buttered Toast has any follow-up to the fear he played last turn. I'm not sure he has any follow-up, but uh, <laughs> given the, the series of events that happened last series, uh, you can never be too sure. So there's a Yuanshi's Wrath that comes out, um, only takes out a Disciple, a Spontaneous Combustion to follow up with it. Uh, it puts everything very low, but does not finish uh, Helios's characters off. That puts I Like Buttered Toast down to 9 health. Helios is currently at 18. If I Like Buttered Toast can stall for just a couple more turns, he might be able to pull this off. Um, he still has 6 cards in his hand, 10 resources, and Helios has initiative this turn. Um, when you're playing against a control deck, like I Like Buttered Toast is right now, uh, it's a little bit of a different mentality with initiative because generally the control deck wants their opponent to have initiative on their power plays so the reason for that is say you have uh, call the crusade a, a good example uh, you want call the crusade to go off first before mass death will um, if your opponent has initiative and they play mass death your call of the crusade will bypass that and get the aspirants out on the field after mass death has already gone off so most control decks want to throw out their power plays when their opponent has initiative rather than character based decks wanting to utilize initiative when they have it so another mind splinter comes out Let's see if I Like Buttered Toast is able to do anything to defend against uh, the Onslaught for this turn. Spontaneous Combustion comes out and takes everything out with it except for a single Ghost of the Ancestors. That leaves I Like Buttered Toast at 3 health. Helios is at 14 and 35. Let's see if I Like Buttered Toast can hold out just a little bit longer. So a 912 full life infected monk, a go a 62 ghost of the ancestors, 42 chef and a 44 demonic disciple. Uh, he's played another mind splinter, so he's slowly whittling away at I like buttered toast's hand. Uh, if he's able to do anything with this turn, he might just survive. Another fear comes out. He is now down to one card and a single infected devil. He's trying to stall as long as he can, but those abominations are just doing their work too slowly. So I Like Buttered Toast now has two cards in his hand and an infected devil on the board. Um, if he's not going to be able to defend against this Ghost of the Ancestors, uh, Helios will win this turn. So let's see what happens during the resolution phase for I Like Buttered Toast.
that's GG for game one. Six health. That was very, very close. Spirit Armor is too good. Spirit Armor is an incredibly valuable card. Okay, so let's take a look at his revised sideboard. So, Demonize, Mortar Cannon, Grave Rob, Splat, and Mark of the Demon. Mind Splinters did save him. I imagine I like Buttered Toast had the capability to stall for two more turns there. Uh, obviously can't know for certain, but that match was very, very close. That was down to the wire. Helios with six health left. So, no, it, I wouldn't say it's a mill mirror at all. Um, Helios is actually playing a Chef Vanash deck. Um, so it's not a mill deck whatsoever. Uh, it does utilize some AoE, but uh, especially against Mill, this is a very potent deck because it's able to continually buff the characters up to a point where the AoE from the T-Bot control deck isn't able to get past the health of the characters on Helios' board. So we'll see if, uh, if I Like Butter Toast is able to side deck into anything that might help him uh, defend against Helios just a little bit longer. So, two Demonic Disciples, two Infected Devils, and a Mind Splinter for Helios. Let's see how I Like Buttered Toast starts off. Just a Plague Zombie. Likely against Vanash. He'll put the chef from his hand out in support. It's going to help him keep that Vanash alive from the one damage that Plague Zombie's going to be dealing each turn. It's going to cancel it out. So having Mind Splinter this early against uh, the T-Bot mill uh, with the Infested Abomination variant uh, is very, very good. I Like Butter Toast is going to be relying on having those control cards, and if the RNG gods are in Helios' favor, that Mind Splinter is going to wreak havoc on I Like Butter Toast's win strategy. Yeah, and he did take the Grave Rob, uh, which is a direct counter to Infested Abomination. Obviously, if he top decks that Grave Rob at any point during the mid game, he'll simply take that off the board. So Yuanshi's Wrath comes out and takes out uh, Vanosh and the Chef. That's going to slow down Helios' win condition by quite a bit. He no longer has the 1-1 one -one at the end of the turn from Chef, and he no longer has the ability uh, to mill out those Demonic Disciples each turn. So he's just going to have to play them and use them as cannon fodder. He has no other choice. That said, he can continually bring them back with Xi, uh, just as a backup from having to discard them via Vanash. So T-Bot comes out from I Like Buttered Toast, doesn't do too much, but does get rid of any of the assault that Helios would have had. Top deck's an Infected Monk, that's good against having the Infested Abomination and T-Bot in assault. Uh, it's not going to help him too much in the long run. He's going to have to find a way to, to outscale I Like Buttered Toast, very quickly here in the next two to three rounds, or I Like Buttered Toast is going to have uh, too much of a control advantage. Does Helios have three Mind Splinters in his deck? I didn't see him take three. Hold up. Hold up.
Yeah, we're gonna restart that. Um, I'm not really sure what to say to I like buttered toast. I'm gonna have to whisper him. No, no, no. No, guys, I'm not saying restart the game and just, like, reset the points. I'm saying uh, they, need to re they need to restart the game as in start a fresh game. Sorry if that was confused. So the judgment there was Helios side decked into an illegal or sideboarded into an illegal deck. Uh, that forces Helios to lose that match. It is now 1 1, all even. They are uh, forcing, they, they have to play a single match right now to decide uh, the finals. I've given that win to I Like Buttered Toast. Okay, so it looks like Prozac won the third place match. No, it was definitely not intended. It's just unfortunate that that's the rules. He unfortunately sideboarded into an illegal deck. So Prozac wins third place. And we'll see what happens here.
Alrighty. So we're heading into the final match. Uh, the reason that we're heading into a final match, even though only one game has actually been played, uh, Helios sideboarded into an illegal deck for this format, and that uh, cost him that match. So this is now being treated as game three for the tournament. The set isn't released, Tringa, so no. The set won't actually be ranked legal until the 20th, and I'll likely edit the ban list halfway through the, halfway through, uh, the month, or actually after the third week. It would pretty much only be viable for the fourth week which I'm not sure I'm cool with. I'll think about that later. So Helios starts with a chef, and he's going to pop it out into Assault. In his hand, he's got a Demonic Disciple, two Infected Devils, Zunshen, and a Steadfast Protector. I like Buttered Toast doing his standard start. Infected Devil out to support. Mayan Splinter already used, so he's down to four cards already. Uh, Helios down to 78. Does have an Infested Abomination out in Assault for I like Buttered Toast, so he has to be careful to not get those in too early. So he's going to continue using Vanash uh, to make sure that he's out of range of I Like Buttered Toast's AoE. Uh, fortunately, he has initiative this turn. Uh, Vanash only has two health left. <laughs> T-Bot comes into play and completely disregards initiative and makes sure that that Vanash is gone and out of play. The only thing uh, buffing Helios now is Chef. Uh, Helios already down to 61 I Like Buttered Toast at a very healthy 94 94 so helios putting out steadfast protector in defense infected devil out to defense as well he still has another infected devil and a zun shen at his disposal if necessary yeah butter's been playing very very well absolutely this has been a really nice tournament really happy with the turnout So demonize on the Infected Devil. That'll make sure that that 6-4 uh, Risen doesn't come out. Uh, Steadfast Protector eats two. Helios take, pulls up a Spontaneous Combustion. Uh, he's going to want to save that. I don't want to see him play that too early. Okay, he does play out the Zun Shen. The Zun Shen will make it so uh, that'll kill the Risen without dying and see if he can block the Infected Devil's hit. Yeah, it's not really mill. Like, the only thing in the deck that was ever potentially mill was Demonic Presence, and none of these decks actually run Demonic Presence at all. So... Definitely not mill. So, Chef will fight T-Bot. Um, I'm a little curious as to why Chef was left out in Assault. Uh, seems a little odd. I, I'm not sure if I might have missed something there. Uh, but putting Chef in Assault left it very vulnerable to exactly what happened in uh, fighting that T-Bot and dying. He now has no buffs. No health coming from anywhere. And that leaves him very vulnerable to the AoE damage that Butter can put out. No, I would not have used Combustion in that scenario, Dringa. Too little to hit. Uh, on the other hand, for Butter... Uh, his spontaneous combustion does quite well, takes out 
two of the Ghosts of the Ancestors, Zun Shen will take out T-Bot as well. Uh, the unfortunate side effect of that is that now Butter has the ability to play another T-Bot, uh, if he does have one in his hand. What did I put T-Bot at? Is he uh, semi-limited or limited? Pretty sure he's semi, right? Two? I don't remember the May list offhand. So Helia is going to put Spirit Armor on Infected Devil that'll let it absorb two. And then he's going to start swinging with the Ghost of the Ancestors. Two? Yeah, I thought so. All right, thank you. Thank you for confirming that. Spontaneous Combustion comes out. That was a good time to do that. Um, that'll take out the first form of the Infected Devil and then the Risen. And then the Demonic Disciple will take out... Uh, the Risen next turn. However, Butter has an Evolving Parasite at his disposal. Helios is already very low at 29 health. Uh, Butter is very healthy at 8572. Helios with only two Demonic Disciples in his hand, and he's just played his Spare Vanosh and another Chef. Uh, so all he's going to get is Sustain, but where is his kill? Where is his win condition? Is he going to be able to find one? Good job, Orochi. Good job. That's okay. So Demonic Disciple takes out the Risen. If this ever loads. Did his computer just crash? What the hell? Whatever. Mortar Cannons would serve Butter very well, um, but with the amount of AoE that both of these two are able to put out, it's not going to do too much. Mortar would die very quickly. Uh, Butter puts out a Mindbender and the Evolving Parasite in defense. An Infected Monk, three Demonic Disciples, and G still available to him in command. Uh, Helios is again able to put up his board presence very late in the game. Can I Like Butter Toast find a way to get around that board presence and find a win condition? So splat onto the new Vanash. That's looking good. So I Like Butter Toast is now down to 68. Helios is down to 19. This is getting very, very close. Down to the wire here. Helios is down to 1958. Butter is at 6870. Uh, Helios needs to find a way to get through uh, Butter's defenses and get to a win condition now, or else he's not going to be able to win in time. So continue to continuing to use that G and get some more goes. Uh, that's good in a couple different ways. Um, it, they're, they're all going to continue getting buffed by Chef. That's definitely a, a great point of it. Uh, the other point is that the more characters he has on the board, the less damage Spontaneous Combustion can do in total. Evolving Parasite and Mindbender over to Assault. Ooh, a good Grave Rob from Helios coming out. Uh, Infested Abomination no longer able to do its job. So Helios is now able to put some pretty good pressure on Butter. Butter now down to 5663, uh, and Butter has lost his clock in, uh, in Infested Abomination. Uh, no longer there. So Helios uh, doesn't have to worry about the clock anymore. He just has to find a way to get through uh, to a win condition and put himself in a board position where he can win. He's getting there right now, uh, but Butter still has five cards left in his hand. So he could still have... We know he has a fear. He played at least one fear last game. Uh, we, we've we only seen one Yuanshi's Wrath to my, to my remembrance. My memory. I don't know what's going on with my head right now. Uh, Helios has plenty of board presence. T-Bot goes off and takes out one of the cards. He's still left with a two-life infected monk. <laughs> Pete, your toast again. That's terrible. No. So Butter is now down to 3558. Yeah, Memorance. I don't really know what's going on with my head. Uh, Daude's Protection 
Uh, Butter has initiative, uh, but not really going to help him too much here. Uh, uh, the the doubt is protection is just going to put everything else out of even further out of range. So we'll see if Butter is able to do anything to potentially defend against this. Uh, but with the amount of Ghosts of the Ancestors that Helios has at his disposal, I don't see Butter being able to do too much about that, especially after the Doubtay's protection goes off this turn. So we'll see if Butter has something up his sleeve, but for right now, Helios has a very advantageous board position with so many Ghosts of the Ancestors. So G very healthy at 716, going to continue being able to use that. Uh, Demonize on one of the Ghosts of the Ancestors, and a Winds of War comes out, knocking out two of the Ancestors. Uh, two are left at 4-6, that's eight more to Butter's Fortress. Uh, Helios now down to 15. He also just top decked a Mortar Cannon. That is going to help significantly in trying to finish this match off. Still has a chef on the board, a very healthy G at 720. Uh, Helios just has a very commanding board presence right now. And with that mortar cannon, he's definitely going to be able to finish this off. Let's see if Butter has anything left available to him in terms of AoE. We'll see what, what happens uh, in his resolution. So there goes a fear. We knew he had at least one. Can he capitalize on that fear, or was it just... Uh, a bandage is is he going to be able to do anything with that fear is the question uh, he was able to do it a little bit in the first game uh, but with only one infested abomination left Helios doesn't have to worry too much about that clock he's got plenty of time so can butter capitalize on that fear did he stall for a purpose or did, is he just stalling to stall so let's see what he's able to do this turn. He has initiative. Uh, he's at 27.59. Helios is at 13.44. That 13 is a little misleading. Helios, I would at least personally say, Helios is in the advantage right now. So we'll see what Butter can do to this last 13 health, if anything at all. So Helios has seven Ghosts of the Ancestors. Very, very strong. Uh, what's he got? So he recycles the Winds of War, and there's a second fear that comes out. Is he going to be able to capitalize on that? Uh, during these two fears, Helios' Mortar Cannon has been doing its job against Butter, and Butter's now down to 19. Can that Mortar Cannon continually uh, deal its damage to finish him off, or can Butter get to those last 11 points uh, before the end of the game? This is getting really close, everyone. Really close. So, Chef, Infected Monk, and a Transformed Demonic Disciple. So, he, he's, he's just putting what he needs to in his defense zone, just in case. All of his flyers out to Assault. So, I'm very curious to see what Toast is going to be able to do here. I don't... I, I can't see him getting out of this. It's going to be an incredibly close match, and I would love it if there's a draw here. I just don't see Toast being able to finish these last 11 points off. He doesn't have access to anything that can. So he's got eight Ghosts of the Ancestors, two of them within range for Winds of War, and the rest of them are well out of range. So what does Toast have here? Mortar Cannon goes off, that'll take him down to 11. Winds of War, that's going to take out three cards in total. Oh, I didn't even see Helios play a Zun Shen. That's GG. That's GG. I did not see the Zun Shen. That's my fault. That reduced the damage from Winds of War to three, and that's GG. Winds of War wouldn't have been able to stop it anyways. Uh, 11 health, he still had multiple Ghosts of the Ancestors on the field, able, more than able, to finish it off. Uh, so Helios takes the tournament in an incredibly close game in the very last match of the finals. 
Uh, Helios and I Like Buttered Toast, well played, both of you. Very well played match. So Helios comes out the supreme victor.